Hello everyone! Today we are going to talk about how to make an animated GIF in Pixlr Editor. So the first thing you're going to do is search for Pixlr um, and once you come to this screen you're going to click on the link for Pixlr.com and ooh, we're going to go to Advanced Pixlr and then we're going to create a new image. So on the left hand side here you're going to see that um, you have a bunch of different options in terms of opening an image, um, doing a stock search, but we're going to create a new image and we're going to make this image 400 pixels wide by 300 pixels high. So it's not a very big image. It's not a very big thing because it's going to be um, able to function on a web page and load really quickly. So we want to make it pretty small. So we're going to create that. So I am planning to, for my animated GIF, I'm going to be collaging a few different photographs together and making some elements move around um, within the individual photographs. You can do whatever you like for yours, um, but I'll just show you what I have going on for mine. So I have a folder made with my images already cut out. And if you need some help with um, cutting out your images, just get in touch with me and I can help you out with that. So here's my background image. It's this image of a lake. And I'm going to open up a couple more images. Okay, so I have this arm, I have this lady, vintage um, illustration of a lady in a fish costume, and then I have my lake image. And so I'm going to just copy um, these images over back into um, my original canvas. So I just did a Command A to select all, doing a Command C to copy. And then I'm coming back to my original canvas and doing a command V. So because I made my canvas so small, it's only 400 by 300, um, the images are pulling in really large. So when I back up doing a command minus here just to zoom out, um, you can see that the transform box is there and you can change the size of your image. So I'm going to change the size of this arm. To about where I want it and I have to get my reservoir image so doing the same thing command a select all command C and then once I come back in a command V to paste and I want this image to be the background image so I just rearranged it in my layers palette here okay so now I have the arm on top of the lake image. Okay, Command A, Command C, Command V. I'm going to transform her to about where I want her. It's probably pretty good right there. All right. So now what I want to do is um, create the frames that I need for my animated GIFs. So animated GIFs are made up of a series of frames. And so I'm going to create these frames by saving um, a bunch of individual files out from Pixlr. So my first frame, I have to kind of think about what I want, you know, the arc of my animation to be ahead of time. And I know that I want to start with just um, my background image and then um, I'm going to eventually you know bring in both of these images and, and they're going to be um, animated across a series of still photos. So this will be my first image where there's nothing in it and I'm just going to save that out. So I'm going to do a file save and call this frame 1 and we can save it as a JPEG here that's fine. I'll bump the quality up to 100%. And Pixar automatically saves your images into your downloads folder. So just so you know, that's where they're going. 
All right, so now I'm ready to do frame two. So I'm gonna start pulling this arm in a little bit like this. I want to rotate the arm so that it's at a different angle. So I'm gonna to go to edit, free transform. So I want it to be at more of this angle. And here it is starting to come into the picture. So this is gonna be frame two. So I'm gonna go ahead and file, save. Frame two. Okay, now I'm gonna have the arm come in more. This will be frame three. Okay, now that I'm finished exporting my frames, I am going to go to Animated GIF Maker. So this is easygif.com um, and now we're going to load our images. So under Select Images, you're going to choose your files. So I have, I really have 14 frames I think, I think I just messed up on the number on numbering them. Okay. And I'm going to click upload and make a GIF. Okay. So here are all of my files. And so you can see for each file that shows up, you have a little box that says delay. And that just means how long do you want that image to show up for. So I know that I want my last image to be longer. I want it to pause. I do want it to be a looping GIF, meaning it just keeps on looping forever when you're viewing it. Um, but I want that last one to pause for a little bit longer. So I'm going to put the delay at 60 for that. You can change your delay time. So if you want it to go faster, you could make the delay less than 20. Okay, and I'm going to click on make a GIF. And you can see that it is playing. My animated GIF is a preview, so you can figure out, you know, if you 
like the tempo and everything that's happening here. So I think that looks pretty cool and I am pleased with this one. So I'm going to keep it the way that it is. Um, there are some things that you can do uh, it, within this little animated gift maker, which is kind of neat. So you can play around with some of these. I did everything I wanted to do in Pixlr, so I don't need to um, do any of these effects, but I'm just going to save it. And it's automatically going to save to my downloads folder, and it's going to save as a GIF. And so now I can do a file, um, file open file in Chrome. I'm going to click on that GIF that went into my downloads folder and now you can see it play in a web page. Pretty cool. And that is the process and again you know do whatever you want to do with this. Um, you can make any kind of a gift that you want. It could be a series of photographs. You could make a bunch of funny faces of yourself um, and make a gift that way. You could you know um, Take a bunch of self-portraits and put some funny wigs on yourself or something like that so it's but i look forward to seeing yours so happy gift making